Hello, everyone. Mr. Zern here, back with another Blockly lesson. Okay, so last time we created a uh, Blockly program that simply stated uh, Hello World. Today we're going to kind of build on that idea and have you give it the ability to ask a person their name, the person will enter the name, and then the program will respond with something along the lines of like, hello, and then that person's name. So we're going to throw a lot of uh, computer science terms at you here to kind of strengthen your vocabulary and we'll uh, we'll do that. But uh, ultimately the program, as I kind of mentioned here, you're going to ask the user his or her name. You're going to store the person's name as a variable. I'll talk some more about what a variable is here in a moment. Using concatenation, it's another fancy term there. The program should say hello to the person using his or her name. And then finally, and you're going to see this come up with basically every program that we use, appropriate layout and spacing should be utilized, should be, you know, uh, pretty and, and professional looking. Okay, so here I am in Blockly. And if we kind of think about last time and just kind of review and build on that, uh, under the text drawer, uh, grab the print statement, right? And we had something along the lines of uh, hello world, right? And if I play that, it says just that, hello world. Okay, well, let's, let's uh, have it ask a question this time. So something like uh, hello. What's your name? All right, so we can play that but it, it just it's just still a statement it's not actually looking uh for us to actually type anything in so let's figure out how we can uh how we can do that and it's going to be kind of a two-step process so go jump back here in the text drawer and we could sort of prompt someone for a message so i'm just going to pull this take this and drop that in there and just to for simplicity's sake I'm just going to grab this empty text box and stick that in there way I can move that around later and let's kind of sort of do the same thing and say hello what's your name all right, so basically in, in Python, we call this uh, a user input, uh, what we've created here. And if I hit play, uh, we'll have that ability. It says, hello, what's your name? And I could actually say it and press OK. Uh, and it just says Adam. It just sort of, you know, prints, just kind of prints that out there. Um, and so that gets us some of the way there, but obviously doesn't get us a uh, across the, uh, the finish line. You could kind of uh, gain the system here a little bit. But what we want to do is we want to create a, a variable. So whatever you type in that input statement uh, will actually store that response as a variable so if we look over here we can see there's a variety of drawers and one of them is labeled variable and I can create a variable so let's do that and so so name variable now variables can be named anything um, you typically you don't want to have spaces between them and I'll talk some more about this other times and uh, you know we could use camel case or underscores or something I like uh, camel case but this will just be a simple one word so name of variable I'm just gonna call it name because that's what I'm storing so I typically like to use and that it's descriptive and not just variable one variable two all right so name so I'll press OK all right so now we can see there's a couple choices here and I'm going to uh, kind of bring that out and I'm going to snap this out and stick that in there now I could still kind of have this be a, a multi piece piece here and say something like hello and then it could ask that user input question. Again, I'll just amend that a little bit. Okay, so right now it says print, it's gonna say hello, and then I'm gonna to have to hit enter, and then it'll bring up this variable thing. So instead of a print, it'll say prompt for you know this message. So let's, uh, let's do that. It says hello, okay, so let me press enter. And again, ask the question, what is your name? So now I can type it in there, similar as before, but now because it's a variable, it's actually going to store that little piece of data. Now again, it doesn't do anything with it because it's just simply storing that. So let's let's move to uh, the next step and do something with that variable. So I'm going to grab the uh, the print here again, and what do I want it to print? Well, I could have it print uh, for this chance the uh, the variable. So let's uh, let's just say hello. And this is what's your name? And I'll say Adam. And when I hit OK, it's just going to simply print the word Adam. 
All right. So again, but that doesn't meet the requirement because the requirement is that we use concatenation. All right. And basically put together uh, some text with the variable to something to say something along the lines of like, hello, Adam or hi or, or whoever the person might be. So concatenation here is just a simply a fancy way of stringing together like multiple pieces of, you know, information or variables. And so um, basically, I want to say, hey, I want to string together some text, which we technically call a uh, string. Like, so just the text itself is just called a string. Uh, it's one of the four types of variables. And so let me just kind of grab some text, a little text block, and stick that in there. And, you know, and so it'll say something and then that. And so I could say, hello, and then name. Now, we're going to see there's going to be a little problem here, and we'll see that in, in a moment. But I could add more pieces. Uh, I could you know, just kind of drag them in here so I have more little little spots there to continue to concatenate other pieces together. Yeah, that's just kind of just kind of joining various pieces, text variables, strings, uh, floats, integers, uh, what have you, uh, into the similar things. I'll leave three in here, and just to kind of show you, I'll, I'll grab another text and um, say something like, uh, it's going to be a great semester. All right, so let's run this program. Hello, what's your name? And I'm going to say Adam. And it says, hello, Adam. Uh, it's going to be a great semester. Now, if you look carefully there at the response, you can see there's no spaces before or after the, my name, Adam. It just kind of mashed it all together. And the computer is extremely literal. So how could we fix that? Well, um, what I'm going to do here in this hello one is I'm going to add a space. And so this is something we'll be doing a lot uh, now. An app inventor in Python is kind of adding a space before and after things so it doesn't just get all mashed together. Now it's going to feel a little odd, but I'm going to add a space here before it. So let's run it again. Hello, what's your name? And I'll put a different name in there just to uh, kind of highlight that. John, and say okay. And it says, hello, John, it's going to be a great semester. Now I can still fix this one more time because uh, what if I put a period in there? So let's, let me do that, period. So I have period space, it's going to be a great semester. So let's run that one more time. Hello, what's your name? I'll say Jennifer. There we go. Hello, Jennifer. It's going to be a great semester. So we can see how, um, one, I've used uh, basically this little variable here. So it's asking for a user input, and then whatever that input is gets stored. And then I print. I'm going to print that variable, and then using concatenation, which is basically this little piece here that allows me to join together various elements, uh, various uh, variables or strings, and and all that. And I could kind of do that to you know an in, indefinite amount, however many I wanted to make that happen there. Uh, just kind of one last thing to show you there. You know, it doesn't even have to make sense. I mean, because very like the computer is stupid, so I could put in some numbers there. Okay, and it just says hello, you know, and there's a bunch of numbers there. Uh, in that. So, you know, even though this doesn't make any sense, and later in the semester we'll learn the ways to prevent people from adding inputs that don't make any sense um, so that, it, you know, they, we, they give us the answer that we want. Okay, so uh, what you need to do is create a little program that does just that. Uh, when you're done, you'll want to click that little chain link button that will change your URL up there, and you can copy that, and that's what you'll submit to me in Schoology. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to press Control D, and you could bookmark this uh, problem so you can come back to it. Uh, we'll, we might be building on these things down the road, so kind of bookmark it so you could uh, revisit that at a later time. All right, so looking forward to seeing uh, how you put your program together. There's definitely more than one way to do this. Uh, this is just one. All right, I will talk to you guys later.